Hey guys, I'm GML Waffle, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can drag the view in your game using the mouse. So as usual, I have some things set up in advance. I've got a sprite called SBR underscore cube, an object called cube, and a room. You don't have to worry about these sprites or the objects because I just have them as little placeholders in the room. So as I'm dragging this view around, you can see that it's changing. And again, you don't have to worry about the size of the view or the port on screen or anything. These are just how I have things set up for the tutorial, but it will work with yours no matter the settings. So if we close this and jump right into things, we're gonna create a new object called con underscore drag. It only needs one event, and that event is the step event, because we want it to update every step of the game. So in this step event, we are going to first get the current X and Y positions of the mouse if we press the mouse button. So to do that, we're gonna say if mouse check button pressed, mouse button underscore left, because we're gonna use the left key. So if we press the mouse button, we want to set a variable called drag X equal to the mouse's current X position. Same for the Y, current mouse Y. So all this is doing is it's creating a drag Y and drag X variable and setting them to the mouse X and Y position as we press the button, not as we drag it, but just as we press it. So then we're gonna actually do the dragging. So we're gonna say if mouse check button and be underscore left, and this will be if we're holding it down so if we're holding down the mouse button, we are going to drag the view. And to do that, we are going to set our view, view underscore X view equal to drag underscore X minus mouse X minus view underscore X view. So I'm not gonna spend a lot of time getting into this math, Basically what it's doing is it's finding the difference between where we first pressed and the current mouse position in relation to the view. So we're gonna do the exact same thing for the view underscore Y view. Set it equal to drag underscore Y minus mouse underscore Y minus view underscore Y view. It's very important that you have these parentheses here or else it's just going to say drag underscore y minus mouse y minus view underscore y view. But we actually wanna say drag y minus the outcome of mouse y minus the view. So this is just finding the difference between these two positions. And if you want to invert the drag, so basically how this works here is if we drag up, the view is going to go up with us, down, down, left, right, so, so. But if you wanted to invert that, all you'd have to do is change that minus to a plus. But I don't want it inverted, I just want it normal. So that's gonna drag the view for us. So the next thing we wanna do is make sure that it doesn't, oh, I have caps on, apparently, doesn't go outside view. So in order to make sure that it doesn't go outside the view, we're going to set view underscore x view equal to max which will find the maximum value between whatever numbers we store inside of it. So we wanna find the maximum value between zero, which is the starting position, and min, and we're gonna find the minimum between two values. And those two values are going to be view underscore X view and room width minus view underscore W view. And I can't type apparently. So how this works is it's going to find the maximum value between zero and the outcome of this min. And this min is finding the lowest value between our current view underscore X view and room width minus view underscore width view. So we're gonna do the exact same thing for view underscore Y view, set it equal to max zero, and the minimum of view underscore Y view and room height minus view underscore h view. All right, so 
That is all you have to do in order to add a dragging view into your game. So if we go ahead and add our object into our room and run the game, we can now click and drag the view with our mouse. Again, when we press the left button, we're setting drag X and drag Y equal to the position of the mouse as we press. Then we're just finding the difference between the mouse's new position and the view. And then we're making sure that it doesn't go outside of the view. So it gets locked, or rather outside of the room, sorry. So it gets locked in the room. So one more thing I'm gonna show you how to do, just a nice little effect to add is changing the cursor. So if I wanted to change the cursor, all I would have to do is say window set cursor to CR underscore size all, because that's the cursor I wanna use for this. The cursor is basically just uh, arrows up, down, left, and right. But you also have to remember to reset it if mouse check button released MB underscore left. So if we release it, we want to window set cursor back to CR underscore default, which is just this basic cursor that you see. So if I run it now, as I press the left button, it now changes the cursor to this nice dragging seeming kind of cursor. And as I release, it goes back to default. So this has been a tutorial on dragging the views with your mouse in Game Maker. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to hit that like button, comment what you thought down below, and don't forget to subscribe for future videos. If you have any questions about the math that was used in this video, please feel free to ask. I'm always willing to show up in the comments section, believe it or not. But uh, as always, I'll see you guys next time.